News 10 at 6 continues. News 10 investigates. Until now, they've been anonymous. The men who created a website that has drawn fire from some of the biggest retailers in the entire country. The website is called Recode.com, where you could go copy, then substitute barcode labels. The creators call it political satire. Priscilla Ress says corporate giants call it stealing. Politicians aren't laughing. However, the fuss is generating more publicity than these two anonymous cyber activists could ever have dreamed of. You might want to search for Walmart, you might want to search for Kmart, you might want to search for crackers, you might want to search for um, under $5.99. It took two days to create Recode.com. It's a whole new age of consumer power. Recode.com is fashioned after Priceline.com. You know the website where you can go and name your own price? Millions of beautiful people have named their own price and saved a load of bread on the things they want and need. Only at Recode you can change the original price with a new barcode. How? Well, during their five-minute video, you'll see a person armed with a downloadable data collection sheet writing down barcode information to be entered into Recode's national database where it can be reprinted. Simply print your barcodes onto label paper available at most office supply or electronic stores and cut out your codes in preparation for recoding. We encourage our customers to recode brand name items with generic item codes. Price sticker switching has gone on forever. We're not advocating switching price stickers. Um, we're taking such a hilarious approach, and if you watch our video, it's pretty, from our perspective, it's understandable that this is humorous. This joke has apparently been lost on corporate giants like Walmart. April 2nd, Walmart lawyers sent this letter, charging Recode with encouraging and facilitating theft and fraud, demanding it immediately shut down. And Mona Golub from Price Chopper says that's not enough. It's not only encouraged people to do something illegal, but it's enabled them to do it. So for however long that the information was available to people, uh, the damage was done. Now, I'm worried. They I think they are a little be. bit concerned about what's, uh, what's to come at this point. Yeah, I don't yeah. think the corporation is going to go after their money. They might want a little punishment to set an example. Just like the example of the U.S. and Britain set by killing Iraqi civilians. Well, you know, it's a possibility. It's certainly a possibility. We have to see how this plays out. Yeah. Right. Priscilla, thanks. You put uh, the price of the item you pay, the store you bought it at. It's, it's an inventory, which is legal to have of what you shop for. Um, that's what we're the purpose of all of this. I mean, are you guys anarchists? That wasn't very nice. To explain the process better, I found this expert on TV describing exactly what the Recode kids were trying to get at. Free swimming fish that swim all over the ocean and they don't have a particular home. They're just free swimming in the deep ocean waters and they're attracted to areas because of temperatures and because of the kind of bait that's available for them to eat. Okay, and they're also very big fish. Yeah, they're very big. Okay, now this gives you guys an idea of the different kind of fish and where they live. Now, I want you to think about their habitats and what it would take, you know, you could hide in the reef. The bottom fish, they could dig down in the sand, don't have a whole lot of way to protect themselves, but these guys, I guess they protect themselves because they're so big, don't they? That's right. So you see, it's not hard to understand. CEOs steal from employees. Manufacturers steal from the laborers of the world, the wealthy steal from the poor, and the government steals from you. There is a flaw in the system. Stealing should be wrong. It is wrong, but that doesn't stop it from happening to us every day. Shouldn't we fix this problem? There's nothing wrong with making a profit or running a business. The problem comes when we don't care about the other costs involved. The cost to the land that we drill in. The people whose back are broken manufacturing the cheap goods we buy. And you, our friends that just want an honest wage. The whole world just wants to be free. Together we can make a difference and make this world great. So, say whatever you want. It's a free country. We have to find more interesting ways. Like how do you hack? We'll carry that so hacking doesn't refer to any technology, it, it can refer to anything. You can, it can be a hacker and never touch uh, a soldering iron or a, or a computer keyboard in your life. To be a hacker means to do things in a spirit of playful cleverness, exploring the limits of what's possible. 
So you can be a hacker in all sorts of different media. 